First of all, we're resecuring the failing portion of the building uh, so that it doesn't fall on anyone on the street. Um, and then what we're, the second stage of the process here is to increase the energy efficiency and the general overall look of the building itself from the street. From our standpoint, we're really repairing the building in two ways, structurally and then also from a building performance standpoint, um, which, was, which was critical in how the design was contemplated. But one of the aspects of the project that is a little bit unique is that a lot of the work that we did early on was not very visual. Uh, we installed 13,000 or so uh, Syntec anchors in the building which from the naked eye you couldn't see anywhere on the street. Now we're getting into work that is actually more visual. We've uh, secured back the existing precast structure and now we're going over the top of it with the new skin of the building. The structural steel support serves two purposes. Uh, the first purpose of the structural steel that you see on the exterior of the building is meant to hold all the precast that has been failing with either the clipping system that was done prior during the original construction or some of the precast that's just starting to spawn now, that steel structure will hold all of that in place. The second purpose for the steel that we're doing on the exterior is to hold the new system itself, which is windows, panels, and all the insulation that goes with it. What we're doing with the Syntec system is, is we're drilling the anchors into the pre-existing structure and overlapping the new system on the old. There's about 13,000 anchors. They vary in range uh, from 21 and a half inches all the way down to six and a half inches. They vary in weight from 50 pounds down to about three. The system itself comes with a sock that's injected with grout, and this grout, once hardened within an hour or two, um, becomes part of the actual structure itself.